rice roti. It's uh, almost like a wheat roti which we prepare using a wheat flour but uh, instead of wheat we are using rice flour here. And uh, to make this rice roti we need 1 cup rice flour, 1 fourth teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon oil and for 1 cup of rice flour 1 cup of water. Also we need some extra rice flour while making the rotis. First boil this uh, 1 cup of water on a medium high heat. Cover this with the lid. Once this water starts to boil, add salt and a teaspoon of oil. You can use a back of uh, any ladle, strong ladle to mix this. Or you can use even the back of this uh, wooden spoon like this. You can use the back of this one too. We reduce the heat completely. Now add the rice flour and mix it. Mix it thoroughly. It doesn't have to be in one lump. Even if it is like this, it's fine. After you mix it, turn off the heat and cover this and keep it for 10 to 15 minutes. It's been 15 minutes. Transfer this mix onto a plate and knead it really well. Kneading is very important to get the good rotis. If it is very hot, you can dip your hand in the cold water or you can dip your fingers in the oil and knead it well. You don't have to worry about the amount of water we are using. So if it is like sometimes depending on the quality of the rice flour, we need a little bit more uh, water or a little bit uh, less water. So, so you don't have to worry about the exact measurement of the water. So if it is very dry, you can always add uh, hot water and then mix it. Or if it is very soft dough, then uh, you can add a little bit of rice flour. Consistency should be like this. Then you can divide into, I am making 10 small rotis. So divide into 10 equal parts. Take the desired amount of uh, dough and again you knead it in between your palms like this. Then flatten it and uh, dip it in the rice flour and keep it either here or keep it on another plate. If you are making in large quantities, cover this uh, dough with a plate, otherwise it will get very dry. You can prepare this and keep it ready. Grease the skillet and keep it on medium high. And uh, we need this uh, skillet to be really hot. Now we take one of this ball we made and again dip it in the flour and sprinkle some of the flour on this flat surface where you are uh, rolling and roll it to a circle. If you feel this dough is sticking to this rolling pin, you can dip this in the rice flour again and uh, roll it. So we have this. This uh, it has to be like this, not too thin, but not too thick either. Keep it ready, and you can make two or three and keep it ready. Now this skillet is really hot. I am going to put this prepared roti on this and wait until you see some bubbles on top. Now I see some bubbles on this top. If you are used to using the hands to flip it, uh, you do that way or please use the spatula to turn it over. So and again wait for it to see how it puffs. You will see few brown spots like this again after some time flip it over to the other side so you will see brown spots on both the sides oil is not must here but um, if you like you can put little bit of oil before you taking it out if you are not a vegan you can put some ghee on top of it and uh, transfer this onto a plate. Follow the same procedure with the 
remaining one if you have a tortilla press you can use this one to flatten this um, prepared uh, balls so either you can use two parchment paper or you can use two plastic sheets grease it and place this in the center and cover it with another sheet of uh, plastic and press it to make the tortilla so this way you can make same size uh, rotis ready to cook you can use either this tortilla press or you can use the rolling pin method to flatten this rotis so either way you will have the delicious uh, rotis we can make around 10 this size rice rotis or rice tortillas with one cup of uh, rice flour this is the best alternative for the wheat tortillas if you are allergic to wheat or if you are looking for a gluten free uh, rotis this is the best one you can enjoy this with chutneys sago and i personally like it with the banana and uh, jaggery mix i hope you enjoy making this rice rotis for more recipes please visit our website at foodandremedy.com